welcome back guys um, just wanted thought I'd give you guys a tour of the chicken coop today so let's get started here is our chicken coop from a distance right here as you can see we have the, the main part of the chicken coop with a three-foot section underneath where the chickens can go under be covered from the rain and snow and everything it stays pretty good under there that's also where we have their dust bath we've got the chicken run here which it's springtime right now so we've got the plastic up there for the winter time probably gonna be taking that down here in a couple of days and then we've got the run first off what we've got for a locking system on our doors we use the double lock for everything so that nothing can figure out how to get into this here we have this one latch and take it off and then you have to use an up motion and a pull to open the doors hey ladies how you doing and this door was built as you can see with a um, it was a crate actually that came with a snow blower in it I just got the crates and used the two sides sandwiched some hardware cloth in the middle to anti sag kit to stop the door from sagging and then here in the run we use so what we're doing is we're using this deep litter method in the run allowing the chickens to scratch through it and to produce uh, their manure into the deep litter and we scratch it up I'll throw some seeds down here some sunflower seeds every once in a while and the chickens will scratch through it help turn this and then I come in with a rake every once in a while and fluff it up and get the chickens move it around as well and the reason we're doing this is I'm going to use this on the garden that we have this year on the top as the uh, compost and and mulching it for the garden to hopefully have our garden grow well if you guys haven't seen the video on us planting our seeds this year I'll put a link to it right up there for you so that you can check that out now we'll continue on with the tour from inside the run here you've got the chicken door now this chicken door is actually operated from the outside and to get out as you can see I locked myself in that's why we have this cable here we just pull the cable and it unlatches the door so I can get out yep stay in there in there Whoop. one chicken out <laughs> I guess the chickens want to go out I'll let those two out and then I'll get the rest afterwards all right so there's the door and we got a latch here and this is designed so that when I can pull that off my screw and I let it go it allows the door to close and to open it again we just pull on that string down and that opens the door now as I'm doing this guys all my chickens escape well four of the chickens escaped it's all right well we'll go back and get those guys afterwards but we're gonna leave the rest of them in there now here's the front of the chicken coop the way we've latched this is again we've, we're using a double locking system to make sure nothing can get in here we've got a big latch here that we open up and then we have a second latch and this door opens now this door is designed that in the summertime or even in the winter if we want to we can aerate the coop by taking the front panel off we just undo these little clips here and the whole front panel that whole front panel right here from this X that whole panel will come right off and then that whole section is nothing but hardware cloth so the chickens can air we can aerate the coop some more again inside the coop we're using a deep litter method and it's designed 
right here with this linoleum on the floor. The linoleum on the floor here, and this board lifts right out, and that will allow me to flop that down, put my wheelbarrow there, and scoop everything out. Inside the coop, we've got a couple of uh, key things that you need for a chicken coop. Hold on. All right, guys, so now we're in the chicken coop. What we've got in here is we've got the we've got a roosting pole. All my chickens fit on here, and it's funny because seven of them will scoot down into this corner, and then there'll usually be one chicken all by itself over there. For our watering system, we've got your chicken nipples in a pipe that is plumbed to the outside, and I'll show you that from the outside here in a little bit. And that's how we water our chickens. We give them the water right here in the coop. Um, the reason I do that is just so that they, they always have water available to them. Um, I can also put a waterer outside if I want, but I wanted to make sure we had the water in here and I was hoping that I was able to keep that unfrozen in the winter time. It didn't work. As you can see, there's some tape marks right there. I had a heating wire on there, but it just, it, it didn't stop it from freezing. So we kind of let that go over the, the winter and we transitioned for the winter time. I had one of these big heated waterers with an electric coming in and that goes all the way out to the to my uh, house or actually to my garage and that that way there we had heated water in here for them for the winter time and they, and they loved that it, it served us very well and I think it's time that we can take that out that's why I didn't bother refilling it all right so another important thing you need in your chicken coop is you need ventilation. So as you can see, I've got one, two, three, four windows on the back side. And I've got one, two, three, four windows on the front side. And what I did here was I made it so that I could ventilate the coop very easily um, but I also put the plastic up to stop any type of drafts from coming in we've also got the uh, the plat we've got the plastic here that just goes up over the windows it's not stopping it from ventilating because it's still allowing enough air to go around it but it's helping to prevent that draft from coming straight through and hitting the chickens with a draft because we don't want a draft on the chickens we just want it to ventilate out and I've got those window plates on, on most of the windows as you can see like that one there and again I can just take that right out and I'm gonna go ahead and take this out and what I did is I designed a spot right there for my extra sheet so I can put it right right up there and again that's going to help to just minimize drafts by it not being at the same, you know, that's just going to minimize the drafts. And it allows me to adjust the amount of um, ventilation that happens in here. Oh, look at this, guys. One of my chickens decided to lay an egg in the coop. Well, we'll take that we'll take that egg out with us. Here we go. We're gonna jump down. Here we go. Ugh. And I don't know if I showed you, but there's their feeder. That's where we put all their grain feed or their chicken food. Now here's our nesting box. Our next nesting box is a good sized nesting box. It takes up half of it. I don't know if you saw it from the inside. I put it on with two latches here. One on this side. 
and one on this side. Again, everything that latches this chicken coop is a dual action. See, in order to unlatch this, you have to turn it and then take the latch off. And the last thing we have is this barrel lock. You guys may have seen it in some of the other videos when we're checking the coop. So I designed my chicken coop door to drop down. What that does, it allows me to completely seal the roof and there's no way that the water can drip in from my roof because you have the overlap here and the, um, the roofing material goes right up and into the boards underneath the boards of the coop. So there's no way that's going to leak at all. Oh, look at this. We got another egg, guys. Now my chickens, they even though they have these three nesting boxes, they'll sit in these two on the left. But this one on the right, with this board in front, I think that's creating some more privacy for them. And it's a little bit darker, so they tend to always lay their, lay their eggs in this side over here. So this is the back of the coop. This is where I put the water in right here. This, is the tu this tube goes into where you saw the chicken nipples. I just take this lid off and go ahead and pour the water in there. And that holds almost, uh, I think it's somewhere between three and a half to five gallons. I don't even have to go into the chicken coop to see the level of the water. I can look right here. On that tube, I'm going to zoom in here. Right there, you see that plastic tube with the water level. That water level is indicating that the uh, water on the chickens is almost empty. I'm going to have to put some water in there. Here's the back of the coop. All I did for the winter time is put a tarp down and put a a ladder on it to hold it in place. Now guys, one thing I wanted to do with my chicken coop here is I want to make a good size run so they have plenty of room. So it's, it's six feet wide by about 20 feet long. So that gives the chickens plenty of room to run around. It's also tall as you can see, it's eight feet tall to make sure that we could walk around in it. That way there, you know, we could easily fit in our coop. Inside here, we've got their, the area where we put their uh, calcium deposits, which we just use crushed egg, egg shells. And then underneath the coop right there, I've designed it so that it's three feet high, so that if anything happened to one of the chickens, I could easily go under there and get them. Well guys, thanks for coming along with us. If you like what we're doing, go ahead and click that subscribe button, click that bell so you get notifications when we post our next videos, and go ahead and hit that like button. It really help us to grow our channel. Oh, look at what I just found here in the coop, guys. While I'm out here. One of my chickens decided that they were gonna lay an egg right here in the run. Well guys, I almost forgot to show you this part. One of the things we did here is we took an old water right here. This is what we started our chicks with. Um, and we've turned it into their calcium deposits. What we do is we go, we go ahead and put all their crushed up eggs in there. Looks like I got a little too much for him there. So, watch them, they're gonna go nuts. Watch that. Found that anytime you throw anything in their chicken coop, they go after it. But again, that's, that's to give them back their calcium so that they can uh, 
lay more eggs and keep the eggshells solid.